Commander of the Ukrainian Volunteer Army, Dmitro Yarosh, commented on the breakthrough of the front and the entry of Ukrainian army units into the territory of the Kursk region. On his Facebook page, he stated that the Ukrainian authorities should first of all focus on the liberated territories which were previously part of the greater left bank Ukraine. According to him, after the liberation of the territories of the Kursk, Belgorod and Bryansk regions, local government bodies, priests and Ukrainian district administrations should be sent there immediately in order to lay the foundations for the full return of the regions to Ukraine, as well as the Ukrainization of the previously Russified population. He recalled that the Ukrainians living in these territories were forcibly Russified, but the local residents must be returned to the bosom of their native Ukrainian culture. The Russified Ukrainians of our ethnic lands need to be reminded who they are and who their enemy is. The Moscow Putinists, he writes. Ukrainian military expert Serhii Zuguretz says that the offensive operation in the Kursk region is still developing and is far from complete. Currently, the front line in the Russian Federation stretches 60 kilometers from west to east with penetration depths ranging from 10 to 30 kilometers. However, a clear front line has not yet been established, noted Zguretz. According to the military expert, Ukrainian mobile groups operating in the format of an operational maneuver group on Russian territory create a completely new format of combat operations. This suggests that asymmetric measures and the rapid coordination between various structures and intelligence agencies enable us to compensate for or gain an advantage over the Russians who have a large number of personnel and equipment in certain areas, Zuguretz added. Russian leader Vladimir Putin is trying to show himself to be competent in dealing with the situation in Russia's Kursk Oblast and to shift the responsibility for the invasion of the Ukrainian armed forces to other Russian government officials and the military. The Institute for the Study of War, ISW, said this. Russian leader Vladimir Putin continues to portray himself as an effective and knowledgeable manager of the situation along the Ukrainian-Russian border and to shift responsibility for ongoing challenges in responding to the Ukrainian incursion in the area to other Russian military and government officials, the ISW said. It is noted that on the 12th of August, Putin convened a high-level meeting with Russian military leaders, security officials and representatives from both federal and regional authorities to address the ongoing developments in Belgorod, Bryansk and Kursk Oblast. During the session, he assigned specific duties to the military and security forces in Kursk Oblast and shared his perspective on the political implications of Ukraine's actions within Russian territory. Putin censored Alexei Smirnov, the acting governor of Kursk Oblast, for overstepping his bounds by discussing matters that Putin deemed the exclusive responsibility of the Russian Ministry of Defense. He instructed Smirnov to concentrate solely on the socio-economic affairs of the region. Additionally, Putin responded to first Deputy Prime Minister Denis Manturov's assertion that all other issues are under control by highlighting Manturov's omission of several important social concerns. Vyacheslav Gladkov, governor of Belgorod Oblast, took the opportunity to request Putin's intervention in implementing certain social policies aimed at supporting the civilian population in his region. Meanwhile, both Gladkov and Alexander Bogomaz, the governor of Bryansk Oblast, sidestepped any potential criticism from Putin by steering clear of military topics. Putin's assertion that each official has only one responsibility contrasts with his attempt to frame himself as capable of overseeing and competently understanding the political, socio-economic and military situation along the international border, the ISW said. The Kremlin has made public the video footage and transcripts of the reports presented by the governors of Bryansk, Belgorod and Kursk oblasts to Putin, showcasing the difficulties regional authorities are currently encountering. This appears to be an effort to depict these regional leaders as responsible for the ongoing issues and reliant on Putin's assistance. Notably, the Kremlin has chosen not to release the video of transcripts from the portion of the meeting where military and security officials delivered their reports to Putin. The Kremlin's decision to publish footage showing Putin chastising senior Russian officials is likely a warning to other Russian officials to refrain from commenting about the Ukrainian incursion into Russia, the ISW said. Putin has entrusted overlapping duties to the Russian Ministry of Defense, the Federal Security Service and the Russian Guard along the Ukrainian-Russian border. 
This decision once again underscores the attempt by Russian forces in Kursk Oblast to form integrated command and control structures vital for the coordination of their operations. Putin also made it clear that the foremost responsibility of the Russian Ministry of Defense is to drive Ukrainian forces out of Russian territory.